Columbine High School's principal says today that this hits way too close to home. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon is outside Clement Park. And Lindsay, he says that things never really do go back to normal after a tragedy like this. Teresa, the Columbine Memorial in this park is a constant reminder to this community of the tragedy that happened nearly 14 years ago. And today, you could see those horrible memories flooding back to Principal Frank DeAngelis as he talked about the school shooting in Connecticut. To be honest with you, I'm kind of in shock. A man who's lived today's nightmare struggling to find the right words. It'll never get back to normal. Columbine principal what Frank DeAngelis saying he's already what, talked what? with Connecticut officials. He was principal in 1999 when 12 students were shot and killed at Columbine. Now he's giving words of advice to Sandy Hook. They're not in this alone and that it's a marathon and not a sprint and we're going to have support for them. Since Columbine, DeAngelis says lessons have been learned, but there needs to be more resources focused on helping the people who commit these acts before they happen. I think funds need to be spent on how do we help these people that are crying out for help. These kids do, that are born do not come out of their mother's womb hating. What has caused this hatred? DeAngelo is saying today is a reminder just how vulnerable we are as a society. Now, DeAngelo said today that throughout the year, schools and universities around this country, even internationally, have reached out to him after suffering similar tragedies. He says that community will now be offering advice and support to Sandy Hook Elementary. Live at Clement Park, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. Thank you, Lindsay. And 7 News has been checking with area schools and districts all day today to see how they're responding to this tragedy. Cherry Creek, Douglas County, Jefferson County, and Denver all sending letters home to parents to explain how to talk with their kids about this violence. Many districts went on heightened security today. Aurora PD even added patrols around schools this afternoon.